Feeling trapped by your Android phone? A Home will set you free. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. I'm Ron Richards, and today I want to show you one of the most powerful apps I've come into contact with for the Android phone, A Home by Mappin. For $4.99, Mappin has created a fully customizable launcher program that can replace the default home screen and launcher that ships with your Android phone. Since the Android platform is open, the opportunity for other developers to create different and innovative ways to use your phone exists, and A Home is an example of that, giving you, the user, greater flexibility in using and customizing your phone as you want it to be. If you have a lot of apps installed and you want to have them on the main screen of your phone, no doubt you ran into the limitation of the default Android launcher of three screens. Probably two days into owning my Android phone, I knew that three screens wouldn't be enough. With new and cool apps being introduced every day, my three screens filled up quickly, and I'm constantly adding and removing apps because of this limitation. Right out of the gate, this is one of the biggest advantages to A-Home. Once you launch A-Home, it takes over as your launcher program, and you'll notice immediately that it looks different than your current phone setup. Along the bottom of the phone, you'll notice some new elements. First, to the left, there's a purple button, which opens your app drawer. To the right, there's a new button, which opens a drawer containing widgets, which is a much better way to access your widgets than the default launcher. Additionally, there are four app icons that appear along the bottom. These four apps make up your dock, and they're always locked in this position and are changeable to your most used apps. Above the dock, you'll see several dots. These are to identify the screen you're on. Now here's where it gets interesting, as you utilize your new UI to add applications to customize your phone. To add an app, just like you normally do, you open your drawer, long tap on the app icon, and place it on the screen. Once it's on the screen, if you long tap again, a small menu pops up that allows you to delete the app from the screen or some new functions available only in A-Home, like renaming the icon, changing the icon itself, or uninstalling the app. Simple, small ways to alter and manage your apps that are genius. Now let's say you filled up your screen full of applications. Well, just long tap on an app icon and drag it towards the edge of the screen and it moves to a new screen. Note the dots on the bottom of the screen change to reflect what number screen you're on. But the dock remains at the bottom. You can expand from the default three screens all the way up to 10 additional screens. Even I had a hard time filling up 10 screens. One of the neatest things about the Android phone for me was the addition of the widgets to the platform, and A-Home takes that one step further. With all this additional real estate on your screens, you have room not only for all the icons for your applications, but for widgets beyond simple ones like the clock. By long tapping on the screen, you can pull up a menu of things to add. Choose widgets, and you get a list of all the available widgets. Or you can simply hit the widgets draw on the dock, find your widget, long tap, and drag to place it on the screen. In addition to the default Android widgets, A-Home ships with some new ones, like an ESPN widget and a Nifty Power Controls widget. You can also download A-Home specific widgets from the Android Marketplace, like Quick Tweet, that allows you to post to Twitter from your home screen. No need for an app. Mix these in with the new widgets from progressive apps like Pandora and Facebook, and your home screen gets way more powerful. We're just scratching the surface here of what A-Home can do. Next up, I'm going to show you how you can customize how your phone looks. But before that, let's hear about the hot app of the day. Hey everyone, Eileen here. Now let's start with a little bit of hardware news. BlackBerry just announced the Bold 9700 smartphone. And besides getting beefed up with a faster processor and more memory, it's thinner, lighter, and the trackball has been replaced with a touch-sensitive trackpad. And our hot app of the day is an application that reads text messages and emails aloud in real time. It's called Drive Safely, and it's designed to stop those of you who drive and text at the very same time, which is a very dangerous thing to do, and many people do it. It even sends an auto response to the person on the other end telling that person that you're busy and that you'll respond later. So here's a quick demo. New text message. Sender, Aline Rivera. You're on. I wonder if the app can say app judgment. It's free for the Android and BlackBerry and will be available for the iPhone, Windows Mobile, and Symbian phones very soon. Check it out and let us know what you think. App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. Keep your personal information away from spammers, hackers, and your crazy ex-roommate. Private domain registration from GoDaddy.com protects your privacy by keeping your address, phone number, and more out of the public database. And support App Judgment and use the code JUDGE5 at checkout to get $10 off your order of $40 or more. Now back to Ron and his judgment on A-Home. So now that we've got many more screens, all our apps and widgets laid out as we want them to be, does it get any better than this? Yes, it does, with one word, themes. Now you can customize how your phone looks. If you don't like the icons that came to fall with Android, you can change them. A-Home allows you to download themes from the Android Marketplace and easily install them. Once you've found a theme you like in the Marketplace, simply download it to your phone, then select a the theme and you're all set. It's just that easy. 
It'll replace the wallpaper, colors, icons, fonts, everything. Themes is a game changer as far as I'm concerned. Ahome has created a bunch of awesome themes you can try, many of them for free, and third-party developers can also create themes and charge for them in the marketplace. This is a great way to get a theme for whatever you're interested in. For example, if you were our producer Eileen, you'd probably want to download the Twilight theme. Or you can go with any other theme to cater to any of your interests or aesthetics. You can find themes around movies, sports, computers. You can make your Android phone look like an iPhone, or a Windows mobile phone, or even Linux. Whatever you want, it's very cool. The only real hang-up I can see with Ahome is that it's really powerful, maybe too powerful for the novice user. Some of the functions are easy, like the theme controls and adding new screens and widgets, but once you get deep into the settings of the phone, it can be a bit overwhelming. The ability to change the settings is great for a power user, but the casual user may get lost in the labyrinth of ways to customize the application. The other issue that I ran into was the performance of the phone after running Ahome. I have a lot of apps installed, so memory is tight on my G1. Ahome, with all the widgets and everything else that goes on, noticeably taxed the performance of my phone, sometimes even crashing. I found myself in situations where I need my phone to simply just work, exiting Ahome and running the phone in the default mode to ensure performance and stability. This may be a drawback of the phone hardware itself, but with newer handsets coming out, they're probably going to be able to handle Ahome better. But with my G1, it's a bit of a concern. So let's break it down. Ahome gives you more screens to store apps and widgets on and allows you to customize the look of the phone with themes. It's also got an awesome dock that gives you instant access to the apps you use the most and is basically a way more powerful launcher for your phone. But it does have some drawbacks. It can be a bit overwhelming to a noob and it's got a lot of settings to manage and I found performance on my G1 to be spotty. Despite those drawbacks, I say to download this app. The ability to customize and expand your launcher is far too attractive to turn down. Do you use Ahome? I want to hear from you. Tell us what you think on our forums at revision3.com slash appjudgment, where you can also find ways to subscribe to App Judgment and watch it however you want to. Have any other apps you think we should check out? Email us at appjudgment at revision3.com or hit us up on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash appjudgment. I'm Ron Richards, this is App Judgment, and I wonder if anyone made an X-Men theme or a Mets theme or a baseball theme. Girls. Thank <laughs> you.